Hey everyone, it's Kelly. I'm back today with the 12 by 12 scrapbook process video, and this is for Altenews July 2020 blog hop. They've released some great new products, including new enamel dots. They also have some new stencils and decals, and they also have new creative cutouts, which is what I'm showing you here. They're actually laser cut cardstock, and there's a couple different designs available. I chose the nested wreath, and you get three of each size of the nested wreath. So there's a small, medium, and large. They also have a 12 by 12 background available in the creative cutouts, and I'll have links to all these in the description box below and on my blog. And for my layout today, I'm gonna to be using the three smaller wreaths. I went ahead and printed my photos, and I'm gonna cut those into a circular shape. I just measured the wreaths with a ruler, and then created a template in Photoshop to print those out in a circle, and then I just used a metal die to cut them out. So I'm just going to back each of those wreaths with one of these photos. It's similar to backing a cut file, except I'm using a picture. And I really like how this turns out. It adds some definition to the photo and will really help the photo kind of pop off the background of my layout. These creative cutouts are very similar to cut files. So if you don't have a die cutting machine and you like the looks of cut files, these are a great option for you. If you do have a die cutting machine, they're a great option for you as well because they are very, very intricate, especially these nested reeds. To be honest, I wouldn't have wanted to try to pull these nested reeds off a cutting mat. They are so intricate that I know that I would have torn them. So I'm so glad that they are packaged and just shipped directly to me. They were packaged really nicely. They were backed on cardboard and then wrapped with plastic. So I definitely don't think you'd have to worry about them getting bent or crumpled up during the shipping process. So it was nice just to be able to open up the packaging and start scrapbooking right away. Okay, so getting back to the layout here, you saw that I additioned multiple backgrounds. All of the backgrounds I believe that I went through were from the Altenew Reflection Scrapbook Collection. That was Altenew's very first scrapbook collection. And I ended up deciding to go with this mustardy yellow background. I thought that the colors were going to pop off this background the best. And the stripe background and some of the other ones I chose were just a little bit too busy for what I was going for with this layout. So I grabbed another pattern paper from that same collection. And I fussy cut numerous flowers out of that pattern paper. And I'm going to use it as embellishments on this layout. My idea for this layout was to have these three pictures, which they're all pictures of our dogs. There are three Shih Tzus. They have all since passed away since we had these photos taken of them, but they were taken at a professional photo shoot. My sister is a professional photographer and we had her come do some family photos with us and our dogs were getting older and they were a huge part of our lives and we wanted to make sure that we had some pictures with them. So my idea for this layout was to do exactly what you see me doing here. I was gonna back the creative cutouts with the photos and then add those flowers as embellishments to kind of continue on that same wreath design, just to make the wreaths a little bit bigger, to add some more color to the background. And I end up adding quite a few of these flowers. I don't end up using all the ones that I fussy cut. I did fussy cut the entire pattern paper, but I really like how this looks. Those flowers are gorgeous. They have that watercolor look to them. I could never replicate something like that. So I'm so thankful to have pattern papers to do that for me. So the embellishing is gonna be pretty much what you see here. I'm just gonna be tucking the flowers in. And I decided just to do the flowers on one side of each of the wreaths. I thought that that would balance the design a little bit better. I am gonna use the black alpha stickers from the Live Your Dream scrapbook collection from Altenew. And I just went ahead and added those to some packaging. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna place the title on here. It's also, adding some black to the layout, which I don't have any black other than the word. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to add another pop of black on the layout so the title doesn't stand out quite so much. So as I continue on on the layout, I keep realizing that the clusters of flowers aren't quite as large as I would like them to be. And I want them to be pretty balanced. I want each of those reeds to have pretty much the same amount of color attached to them. I did add some fun foam behind all of those wreaths just to help them stand off the background a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those adhered down. I'm still continuing to add color as I'm moving along, just trying to make sure that everything looks balanced. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to getting my title placed. And my title is just going to be the names of our dogs. So I'm gonna add the name of each of the dogs around the wreath. So it's gonna be Cooper, Bodie, and Lucy. Those were our Shih Tzu's names. 
and I really like the font of these alphas. I like it so much. In fact, I think that I bought three sets of these alphas because they are so unique. I love the font. I love the finish of, on them. They're one of my favorite alpha stickers ever. So I'm going to go ahead and get those spread all around the layout here. And I'm just going to add them around the wreath. So I'm going to do them in almost a semicircle, just going with the shape of the wreath. I also decided that I wanted to bring in a little bit more texture to the layout. So I'm going to add some wood veneer chevrons to each of the wreaths. And I really like to add a texture in threes. So I would have liked to have added three chevrons to each of those wreaths, but I didn't have the right amount. So I ended up going through my stash again of all new products. And I found some wood epoxy buttons that matched the green in the flowers and in the leaves of the flowers so i went ahead and added an epoxy button to each of those wreaths and here comes my dilemma with the enamel dots when altenew contacted me about participating in this blog hop i had no idea what i was going to be making when i chose the products so i chose a couple sheets of enamel dots and colors that i typically use so in purple and in teal well, the purple and teal enamel dots did not match this layout. And there's this really pretty green set of enamel dots that came out. And if I would have known what I was going to be creating, then I would have chosen the green enamel dots. But I ended up going through my stash and I got some black enamel dots and added those. The black ended up working out well because it adds another pop of black to the layout and helps just balance out the title so the title doesn't seem so in your face but I still didn't feel like I had enough black. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the layout on the top and the bottom. And I just chose where there was more white space. So where Lucy's photo is and Cooper's photo is, that side of the layout is a little bit more full. So I cut the, the 12 by 12 pattern paper that I used as the background, and then I'm gonna distress the edges a little bit. And I'm gonna come in with this black and white stripe pattern paper first to see if I like the stripe or if I like the solid black. And I decide that I like the solid black. So I'm gonna trim that down a little bit and then I'm gonna add it to the back of the layout to bring in another pop of black and just to add some more interest. And this also adds additional texture to the layout because I did distress the edges. So I'm just gonna adhere that down and then I will add some sewing with my sewing machine. So here you can see that stitching and I ended up adding a few rows of that stitching. So it almost looks like stripes on that cardstock. Some of the pieces that I distressed were wanting to flip up and I wanted that white backing of the pattern paper because it is a single sided pattern paper to show. So I'm just using some liquid adhesive to make sure that those distressed edges stay down. Now I'm going to bring the layout a little bit closer to the camera so you can see it in more detail. Here you can see all of those gorgeous watercolor flowers and just how intricate those creative cutouts are. I really like how this layout came together. I feel like it ended up being very, I don't know if sophisticated is the right word, but I feel like I did these photos justice. These photos really do mean so much to me, so I am so happy that I have them documented in such a beautiful way with such beautiful products. So if you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, I do want to encourage you to head to my blog. There will be a link in the description box below. I have links to the products in the description box, but Altenew is hosting some really great giveaways with this new release and all the information can be found on my blog. So do make sure that you head there. I'll also have a link to the other participants in the blog hop and you'll want to check that out so you can see other great ideas on how these new products can be used. So I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll be back again soon.